Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Scorpio, this is your weekly May 3rd through May 9th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work or your business situation first. We've got the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands. We also have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords. You could be dealing with uh, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. You have some kind of an offer on the table. Either you are offering this to this King of Wands, the uh, Fire Sign or the other way around. They could be making you an offer. Um, and like I said, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or this person is just very um, passionate. It could be a business partner, it could be a new boss, it could be a colleague making you an offer to join them in some kind of a project or to go somewhere. And um, you are a bit stressed out about it. Um, perhaps this new job, if it is a new job, will require relocation. So you don't know if you want to uh, pursue that path. Or the Six of Swords, uh, in this case, is uh, you are not really taking this deal and you decide to move away from it, unfortunately, or fortunately. Yeah, so uh, see how this resonates for you. But like I said, there is an offer on the table. Um, it's uh, symbolized by the Ace of Cups. This is uh, most likely very emotional for you and that's why you are really stressed out about it. Because uh, it looks really good, looks very appealing, but it probably requires some major changes in your life. Scorpio, if you are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the Six of Wands, we have the Devil, the Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Hmm. So what I think is happening here is uh, either you or your partner offer to uh, try something new behind closed doors, if you know what I mean. And uh, whoever was on the receiving end of this offer agreed, and this was... Uh, a wish come true for either the one who was making the offer or for both of you. Perhaps they were thinking the same thing or wishing for the same thing. The Six of Wands here is a card of a winner so um, or just a feel-good card I guess and the uh, the Devil is uh, what you are trying, the, the new thing you're trying. Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn, right? This. If this is your significant other, then uh, yeah, th that's the person. And the Nine of Cups, as I was saying, this is a wish fulfillment. With the uh, Knight of Wands, um, if this is not a fire sign you're dealing with, then this is just uh, this passion, this passionate energy that uh, you're bringing into your um, married or your married life or into your relationship, right? So this looks uh, pretty good, spicy, and uh, just stay safe, folks, okay? Scorpio, if you are on the quest for a new love, this spread is for you. We've got the Magician, the Hermit, the Sun, and the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Cancer. Every single card on the table is a major arcana card. This is something very significant, could be a life-changing event and uh, it looks really good actually Scorpio um, so you could be dealing with a Virgo, perhaps you've got your sight on a Virgo, right, or a Cancer um, and uh, either you or them have been manifesting this new beginning with you or them, however it resonates for you um, one of you could have gone away and done some soul searching if not if that's not the Virgo you're dealing with um, 
and finally decided that that's what they need or that's who they see themselves uh, with in the future. The Sun card here is uh, the happiest card in the deck. So whatever uh, you see in this person or vice versa, it makes you or them very, very happy. Um, so the Chariot card is either a Cancer you're dealing with or this is just the moving forward energy. You could be going on a trip together, you could be uh, meeting this person while on a trip, it could be on the roads, car service, anything. Where this, the chariot is just that uh, when the two of you come together and start this relationship, this symbolizes uh, the energy of the two of you moving forward. So no matter how I slice it or dice it, this is an amazing spread. We've got manifestation, we've got moving forward, and we also have uh, happiness right here on the table. This looks amazing, and like I said, the four major arcana cards make me think that this could be a turning point in your life. This could be the person you've been waiting for, right? Congratulations, Scorpio. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this week. We've got the four of wands, we've got the nine of wands clarified by the sun, we also have the Eight of Swords and the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. So this could be a Capricorn coming back around or this person was very toxic for you or this could have been a very codependent relationship. Um, um, in general you think this person was not good for you and now that they are trying to reconcile with you, you are on the defense. Um, right? That's what the uh, Nine of Wands is all about. This is a card of a wounded warrior and it is clarified by the Sun, so I think in this case the Sun is clarity. You, know, you realize you, what kind of person you're dealing with. It's clear to you, you that if you were to get back together, what kind of a relationship, what kind of a toxic relationship it could be. So most likely you are not really open to um, give this person another shot. I don't see a rejection card, but the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords, they kind of suggest that that's exactly what you're going to do. You're not going to be giving this person another shot. Let's see if anything will surprise you, Scorpio, this week. We've got the uh, Two of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The surprise of this week is most likely um, about finances or something tangible, could be about real estate. Uh, you'll probably hear some news from either this uh, Queen of Pentacles, the uh, Earth sign, or this could be um, a person from a financial institution and they'll be uh, giving you some good news, I think, about um, a loan you've been um, waiting for to get approved or just whatever it is that has to do with finances. And after hearing this good news, you'll be uh, standing out there on your balcony if you have one looking into the future thinking about the next steps you want to take and this will surprise you this week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period i hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other thank you for watching sharing and subscribing